We thought we dodged a bullet with all the cool summer weather this year. We didn't. In this week's forecast, we're back to the typical triple digit temperatures. So we've got some tips on what you need to do to stay safe at our extreme Texas heat. About Town's Jessica Taylor has the story. Swimming at the pool and playing games at the park are typical things for kids to do in the summer. But in Texas, the heat poses as a serious obstacle for these activities. Knowing the boundary between pushing your workout and pushing your limit is something that everyone needs to know to stay safe in the summer heat. Renee Kendiff, the Cigna on-site health coach for Irving, shared tips and what to look for indicating a heat-related illness. So you might feel fatigued, you might feel dizzy, you're sweating profusely, um, your pulse is probably rapid, um, but it might be weak because it's working so hard. What symptoms or behaviors should we keep an eye out for that could possibly indicate heat-related illnesses like heat stroke or heat exhaustion? So heat exhaustion, your body is overworking to try to dissipate the heat that's building up in the body. And that is usually something that can be controlled by removing you from the heat and, and reducing your body's work. When it gets to the point of danger, there's actually brain damage that can occur that is heat stroke. If you're exercising outdoors, how can you be sure you're not pushing your limits? You are going to experience some of the same symptoms as heat exhaustion. You have to realize your body needs to acclimate. So if you start exercising as the weather's getting hotter, your body will adapt better. Um, so really unusual fatigue. If you're doing the same workout you've always done, but you're experiencing greater fatigue, greater headache, um, it just feels like more work than normal, that's a good sign to take a break. So now that we know the symptoms and exercise precautions, what should we do if we start experiencing those symptoms? Depending on the severity of the symptoms, you definitely want to get the medical help if it's to heat stroke. So if they're unconscious, you want to call 911. If it's not quite that bad, um, you want to remove them from the direct sun, remove them from the heated environment if possible. If they're outdoors, that may be as simple as you know getting them under a tree. Um, loosening clothing and exposing more skin to the air. In extreme heat, it's safer to exercise indoors. But if you can't resist exercising outdoors, remembering these tips could save your life. I'm Jessica Taylor reporting.